Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian here at the Dubai International Air Chiefs uh, Conference where we are a partner. Our coverage here and at the Dubai Air Show is sponsored by FLIR Systems and we're honored to have with us United States Air Force Lieutenant General Jeff Harigian, Cobra Harigian, who is uh, the commander of the U.S. Air Force's Central Command. I didn't say, uh, I said AFCENT instead of CENTAF to make, to correct it. Everybody corrects me on that. Sir, thanks very much. We uh, had an opportunity to have a great conversation at uh, AFA and I appreciate the time there and appreciate the time now. Um, there's been a lot of change in the regional security dynamic. Uh, you know, you addressed it with reporters yesterday a, a little bit. We had uh, the Iranian missile attack, which the Saudis have, have shot down. Tensions rising with Hezbollah, or the resignation of the, um, the Lebanese prime minister and, and maybe not being able to leave uh, Saudi Arabia. Talk to us a little bit about how this, you know, increased tension the con concerns are affecting you, your strategic planning and thinking about what are some of the scenarios that could play out over the coming days, weeks, and months. Right, let me first by uh, focus by concentrating on our fight against ISIS. That remains our number one priority. And as you're well aware, it's very much concentrated in the Abu Kamal region right now. We've got them contained there. We're working to annihilate and crush them there while simultaneously looking across the region to make sure there's no movement that would indicate that they've been able to get out. That's job one. Job two, we're naturally looking towards Afghanistan, developing our plans, looking at our resources, the specifics of ISR, strike, tankers, to determine what will be required for that. Meanwhile, of course, we continue to monitor all the other activity that you highlighted so that we're appropriately supporting our partners as we work through the challenges that are ongoing throughout the AOR. Do you see anything that Iran or Hezbollah are doing that concern you as the, uh, as the operational air commander in the region? Well, we're always watching that, and it's, uh, it's naturally a concern. We're working closely with our partners across the region to ensure we understand what those activities are and how we can best work together to support each other. Uh, talk to us about the Afghan plan. What are your top priorities in Afghanistan as you build that list? Uh, President has a new strategy regionally that affects Pakistan, which you talked about a little bit. Uh, Yemen, it's, a, it's a much, much broader strategy regionally. Talk to us about your priorities in Afghanistan and regionally. All right, I think the priority clearly is to make sure we're supporting the president in that regional approach by, with, and through our Afghan partners while we work with the regional partners across the area. And then specifically at an operational level, we're looking at what that force buildup will look like on our side. Uh, you know we've probably had, uh, we've had extra F-16s over there. Uh, we're gonna look at that strike capacity while we really look holistically at the air campaign itself that General Nicholson is driving towards to keep pressure on the enemy uh, throughout the winter season and make sure we're prepared for uh, 18. And F-35, last question, uh, UAE expressing an interest in it. We talked to General um, uh, Al uh, Hashmi, who talked about, hey, look, he said it's good for you, it's good for us. That's kind of a great capability. You're the Central Command uh, Air Forces guy. What would that mean for America's partners and allies in this region to have? What would that mean to you as the air, uh, air commander in the region? Well, certainly it's important that we have this conversation. And I think as you look across the region, tensions will remain high here. And as the State Department and leadership in the White House look at the appropriate areas to bring that capability in, I have no doubt they're going to take a hard look across the region at the appropriate partners to have that capability. Last question. Chinese systems, some of the p countries in this region are buying Chinese systems, including ISR and Saudi Arabia. Does that concern you at all, given that some of those feeds will be going through China? We're always worried about that, and uh, clearly the number one uh, issue for us is making sure we maintain our advantage, and so we're always watching what the Chinese are doing. Right. Sir, we're thanks done. very, very much. Really appreciate it.